Been, that was literally a whole segment, bro. Like, <laughs> Twenty minutes. <laughs> that was literally like a whole. Actually, I won't exaggerate. It's been about ten minutes. I don't know what the fuck just happened. I am pure confusion. I am. What are the words? Perplexed. I am kerfuffled. I am befuddled. Uh, befuddled. I am colluffled, and I just made that up. <laughs> Uh, what the fuck just happened, Bruh. Bruh, l- l- those- First of all, wait, we'll just come back to it. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll we'll come back to it, but yeah, we'll just get started with our music. Crim de la crim, homie. Jesus Christ, <laughs> top chef, you know. I like my beat down oh, low, boy. down low, down low, down low, down low, down low, like down low. I like hey. my top lip. Sadia, please lip, come lip, back. Lip, we need lip, you lip, desperately. Lip, she literally did. We need you, Bruh. Come back, baby, please. Oh, baby, please. Oh. Slipping, got the Beretta in vision, ready to pop the clip in, ready to get the tripping, ready to show these folks a celebrity pistol whipping. And he did just that and went to jail for it. I'm gonna stop playing with my nigga Tip, man. God damn it. This just makes me feel like riding through Bankhead right now. Even though a lot of Bankhead niggas don't claim him. Haters. Yeah, I'm about to say, it be hate, bro. It be, it be hate, bro. Like, niggas, like, niggas that, you know, that really probably knew him, but then they don't, you know, he don't really fuck with him, you know what I'm saying? Like, they was in the same class together, you know what I'm saying? That be like, mostly shit like a nigga just moving out the hood, doing better for himself, and niggas do not want you to do better for yourself. Hey, nigga, just like the song, it's like, I'ma get the fuck ASAP. This bitch. Okay, like, bro, my, because motherfuckers, like, all right, it's like, bro, motherfuckers want to see you doing good, but just not better than them, you know what I'm saying? Like, we want to be like, like, I want to I see you doing good, but goddamn, like, bro, I still want, I still want you in the same, you know, situation I'm in, you know what I'm saying? I still, I still want you goddamn. We're going to get into that. I like to just bro, that's good, because that's a big. That's, I think for a lot of creators out there, that is a big, that, that, that is huge. Just knowing how to really support somebody. I think a lot of niggas just don't really know how to do that. We don't get into it though. T.I. keep, keep rapping. Actually, I'm going to come in with the damn I'm in. The intro. See, y'all niggas threw me off, man. God damn it. Bruh. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the What's in My Bag podcast. It is me, your host, Louis B. I'm joined by a friend, only one friend in this motherfucker today. Yeah, that's really crazy. <laughs> by that's really circumstance. Crazy. I'm losing my fucking voice because of this shit. Jade, speak to him, my guy. Yeah, what the fuck going on? Y'all already know what is going on, man. You know what I'm saying? Damn. I just- <laughs> Hey man. <laughs> What's All right, up, y'all? so I'm just gonna let niggas know. You know, we always strive here at the What's in My Bag podcast, the W I M B pod. We always strive to give you 100% transparency through all situations. Good, bad. Well, I ain't gonna say 100%. 80% transparency <laughs> through good, bad, or indifferent. So. All right, so I'm I'm here. I'm waiting. You know, normal call time is twelve o'clock. That turns into one thirty. Actually, this nigga hit me up at twelve fifty and said, "Hey, I, we're fifteen minutes no, away." No, like, like literally, we because we was we had made a stop. Had to go get something to eat. That's why we was in line. Nah, like, we fuck was in that the nigga. Line. I seen two different bags of food yeah, from two that, different companies. Exactly. So there was two different stops. 
Exactly, because we was originally supposed to stop at fucking Chick Fil A first, but nah, she was like, "All right, let me go ahead and stop at Steak and Shake." You know what I'm saying? Because that shit was out, so we was pat right passing by that shit. So then that that's what really took it so long as a motherfucking Steak and Shake line. Oh, Jesus so we was Christ. like, "Bro, okay." So then, of course, you know, when you go to Chick Fil A, they got the motherfuckers out there waiting, you know, for to take your order. So by the time you get to the window, and we gonna we talk about there. Popeyes too. Them niggas is on. <laughs> we still go talking ahead. about chicken, fam. Jesus, fam. Keep going. But anyway, bro. So, hold on, what's going on? Actually, no. I'm supposed to keep going. So, uh, they come in, walking in at 1:30. The door opens. As soon as the door opens, I am bombarded with debate. Uh, I don't know what the fuck they was talking about. It was just two niggas talking over each other, two loud niggas talking over each other, and I'm just right. like, uh, okay, come in. Yeah. So they're in here and they're going back and forth. And I am like, what in the fuck is going on? I am just ready to pod. Bro, really, bro. Because, like, bro, really, honestly, it was really just like a snowball effect until like, until what it, until how it got. Because, so like, you know how, like. talking about this in the car already. Yeah, like, we was already talking about it in the car, have, but it was, but. It y'all has, have conversations like this all the time? I mean, not all the, like, not all the time. Like, I was just about to say, like, you know, like, we had, like, we have those rare ass moments, like, you know, like, what just happened or whatever, like. Like the last time that shit happened was probably like the last time we uh we was at we had through that Fourth of July party or whatever. That's the last time like oh, she was there. Yeah, I mean well she wasn't there, but <clears throat> it was like the, like the few days after that. But yeah, mm-hmm. so like those are like it's really rare when we have those moments. But that how but how that snowball was like how that conversation went, bro. It's like you know how like. When you when you put like when you're trying to like get a point across and then you try to you know bring up like a, some type of analogy or some type of you know or or reason to you know back that point and it, you know, and then it goes and it goes into like another thing or yes. whatever and you try to like and you try to like uh you know com- combat that reason now and so it's not even just about that original thing so it's like that's pretty much that's pretty much what it that's pretty much what it was so because like you said at first like how you acknowledge that we was both saying the same thing. Like yeah, like we we were saying we were saying the same thing in a, you know in a sense, but she was more so saying like she was saying that like she the way she made it seem like the way we could do things could be just as easy as how another group of people you know did you know did this which which my point was like no it's not it's not that it's it's not just as easy because like these that you know these group of people. You know, can easily you know can easily go you know go ahead oh, and go, oh, do oh, that type of shit. Best believe you, buddy. Me, we're not getting back into this debate. No, no, no I'm not. I'm not. Because that was a debate, y'all. Yeah, was debating, I'm not, I'm not getting back like, into. It. I'm not getting back into it. But I'm saying. Fuck? But I'm just, I'm just. I'm just. I'm just saying. Like that's the that's the that's the main that's the main that was the main thing we was talking about. Like got it. And that these group these group of people could get get certain shit what uh, uh easier rather than. Our, you know our own people like compared mm-hmm. like we have more shit hindering us you know hindering us to compare it to like you know other people and shit like that yeah but you know in her eyes she just thought like nigga we could do that shit just like we did slavery you know we could give me do that shit like but it like it's not that easy bro like we had we had literally had to goddamn die for that shit but these motherfuckers ain't had to like go through as much shit we had to go through and that's my main that was my main point hmm. you see what i'm saying but she took it somewhere else talking about that's my that's my opinion, and I'm being a little boy about this shit. Like, no, bro, like, don't tell me what the fuck I'm thinking about. I always love, I guess, because I haven't been in the situation harshly, because I, I be so chill, so it's like a level, it's like a certain level that I probably don't even know that I have in me that I just have never tapped into, because I, I, I'm, I, I don't... Ugh. Like, raising my voice, man, I just, I can't do it. So, I'm thinking to myself, it's always funny when like I get to witness <laughs> good friends do this. And I wanted to I wanted to try to I guess now figure out if that's one of the things that is necessary for uh a everlasting friendship. Like do y'all niggas do niggas need to fight? Do friends have to fight to be friends? Like do you have to not not necessarily physical shit, but do y'all have to Argue with each other, believe, disagree with each other in order to have a real friendship. Like, I, nah, can you just be cool? I mean, cause, I, cause or obviously, bro, like people, like people can have, like you know, people could be tight as fuck. I mean, it just it just depends on like you know the certain people in certain relationships. Because like you know, not so, like you know how you have people, um, <clears throat> have people like whose uh, personalities like you know are completely different, but we'll get we'll get along. But it it would be it just be those times where like personalities will will clash. Mm. Like end day, motherfuckers still know. Like she has a very strong mind. I can tell that. Yeah, she like uh, you know she does, yeah. and like you know what I'm saying like you know that's you know, 
Now, I would never, I would never hold that against her. That's one thing, you know. I really do like, I do really like about, you know, like about her and shit like that. You know, that, that like that's my nigga at the end of the day. And I honestly hate the fact that how it ended, how it did, because like, oh, bro, that shit, shit, I hope, bro, she I'm, driving far as fuck, bro. Wait, like, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about it now. I really hope that nobody's thinking that this is Saudi because I didn't really say who this was. Mm-mm. No, we was supposed to have a, a special guest in, but yeah, that that failed. <laughs> like bro, right before like showtime, like we had like some whole like e- day like day plan type shit. Now bro. I gotta like, fucking take this nigga home, and I was god damn it, I was I was enjoying like like last week. Camilo brought him home. I was really like, <laughs> I was like yes, I ain't gotta worry about taking this nigga back to the swats. Now I gotta take this nigga back, bro. I hate, Fuck. bro. I hate, I hate it. I hate Fuck. it. I hate it. How to end? And honestly, bro, I, honestly, bro, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I, my my pride really got in the way, like got got the best of me. Cause when, ah, cause really, bro, I'm, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm be honest ah, with you, bro. Cause when she said, your little vein came out of your fucking said, forehead. When she told, when, when she told, when she, when she told me, it's not so many, it's not so many. Set the fuck up. She going nigga, shut the fuck up. Like now, see that's where the arguments, right, and see that's that's the exact right, moment. That is the exact phrase that changes. Uh, friendships uh, disagreeing and just simply arguing for the sake of arguing to full blown like I don't fuck with you right now at this very moment get like, the bro, fuck out of my face cause like, bro, shut the fuck I just up felt like, bro, is that uh, I just, like I just felt like uh, bro you're not, about, you're not about to sit here and tell you're you not about to sit here and tell me like what the fuck I am and ain't gonna do especially you already wrong bro you know what I'm saying it's like like, but bro, but see, I think people have to also understand that there is like life. None of this life shit is certain. None of this life shit has uh, the only thing in life that has like certainty is technology, and technology really doesn't have certainty. I'm just talking about in the way that it works. Either yeah. it works or it doesn't. This thing with this thing we call life has so many different valleys and avenues that you can get into <laughs> that it's like. We don't know all these fucking answers. One, none of us here physically in the past, we can only go by what niggas have written in books. We can only go by clips that niggas show us in media. We can only go like by what we see what's in front of stuff us. Stuff that's going not on, we weren't around us. we weren't alive in 1642, 1700 to really see what was going on. So, doing so when niggas write books, you know what I'm saying? Even, you know, I'm a Christian, but even the Bible, like this nigga is, is, is coming to us on the account of God. But I'm not getting into that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. The podcast that was going to be three yeah, is now two. My pride Sadia, baby, that, listen, listen. I ain't even going. I got to come to you on my Mac Daddy. Bro, what's up with Bro, what? what? So, hold on. Sadia posted a pic. The other day, and I was like, "Hold on, we she not photogenic, but this one, this one is it. This one, which is one, it. The, the VIP oh. one? Yeah, the VIP. Yeah, the, you that already crazy, know what this crazy, is. Crazy, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. How funny? It's the VIP. <laughs> hey, hold on, we can't, <laughs> hey, hold on, we can't bro, talk like about said, our co-host. Bro, she's like, not, bro, she's not really too photogenic, bro. But it's like, like, bro, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we objectifying our our co host I mean, We're not, we're not objectifying. Me, we're we're making an observation. Me. Listen to me. We I mean, miss but you. She knows that she's still out of town. I, I keep listening to last week's episode when Jade comes in and says, "Uh, you know what that means?" And it's so funny. I told her. I said, "You know what? We're gonna need a play by play of what happened when you get back on the podcast. We're gonna give you a whole segment." Her response was, "You know what? What I do on my trips." Stays on my trips. I said, "Wait, what?" <laughs> I said, "Oh shit!" And she's like, "Yo, you know I'm just playing, Sadia. Yeah. Come back, come back first to us. First of all, first of all, you, nigga, who's who's talking like that in New York? What the fuck? <laughs> 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 you know what happens in New York stays in New York. <laughs> what you doing? Stopping pigeons, nigga? <laughs> like what you say? Fuck. Hey man, fuck this shit with the mood that y'all niggas done created. We gotta. Let's sp- begin now, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Oh. Woke up this Bitch, we don't have a good day. God damn it. I honestly, bro, I honestly feel like a dickhead now, bro. Because oh. like, bro. You come to that point in the in the friendship debacle. Like, nah, bro, because like, bro, like it really ain't bro, because like I I, I hate like like, cause due to the fact that she does, like she is strong minded as she is, bro. It's like, bro, like, nigga, you're literally just ignoring actual logic, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like when it comes to certain shit, bro. That's that like that's why I just I often don't like don't say shit to sit like yeah, at certain times, but I just keep certain information to myself just, to avoid situations just like that with people, bro. Cause I don't, I don't, I hate, I hate to get like that to people like that I actually fuck with. I literally love watching friends fight. 
it, I don't know what it is about me. I, I, it's weird when it's in my house. But other than that, like, cause I've seen uh, my boy Josh and my boy Brandon go at it, and they're like best friends since elementary school. I've literally seen them niggas go at it, and it's always that shut the fuck up phrase. It does wow. something to a man where he feels like. Nigga, don't talk to me like that. That's the one. That's right, always right. the changing point because now when you say shut the fuck up, that's an action. That is an action. Like I want you to shut the fuck up. I need you to shut the fuck up. As a man, that no, no, you can't tell me that. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna <laughs> keep talking. And this is where uh, a general argument. Which arguments are healthy in life? This is where a general argument can turn can turn sticky. This is where turmoil can begin. But anyway, man, uh, it said all of that to say, yeah, friends. How many of us have them? Friends, the ones we can depend on. Let's just be friends, bro. Let's all agree. Bro. Y'all be all right. She will listen to this podcast. We're talk about it. Yeah, Laugh because you said you bro. was a dick and all of this shit, and then hit you up and be like, "Oh, you pussy ass nigga." Let's figure out. Another yeah, that, I this. just know. I just know it's definitely gonna be like a few, like a couple days before we got there. <laughs> right, well, she is a woman, so you know how that goes. And I be, I be forgetting that shit too, bro. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. Like, I, bro, it's like sometimes, bro. Like, just, bro. I swear to God, bro. I be forgetting, bro. Like. <laughs> Like yeah, bro. Like no. y'all, like you know, y'all are gay and stuff too. But like, bro, I just be forgetting, bro. Like y'all, y'all are still girls too. I be like, bro. Hell no. That, bro, that that really be the most annoying shit too. Cause like, bro, just just dealing with like being around, like being around, being around girls and like. That's all you like, nigga. Hey, that's what you, that's what I mean. It is. I mean, yeah, but it's just like, bro, like. Bro, you you know you know the shit that you can, you can say and what you can't and you, and you can't do around like. You know your your partners that are girls. Then can't say bitch you know, right? on Sadia. Right, bro. I was thinking, I was thinking, not say it right now. I was Please thinking, come bro, back I was to thinking us. To myself, I was thinking to myself at the airport uh, yesterday, bro. I was like, bro, I really. Oh, did you don't... see her when she left? Oh no, 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 okay. no. But I was just thinking to myself, like, I'm like, bro, like, I really disagree with that shit, bro. Like, I really don't like that shit, bro. Like, why? If, like, if I'm not calling you a bitch, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And you know, and, and you know, and you know the context, and you know the context has been, you know, it's been said, and like it, sh- it shouldn't be as big an issue as. Hey, as we not gonna said. talk about this every week. We just, hey man, just respect her, man. No, you no, no, I saying? respect it. Like, I respect it. To do. But like, I like, I, like it was just like it's just something that popped in my head, and it was like, bro, like I'm, I'm really bothered by that at times. Oh you know what I'm saying? Like God. it's just something that just that bothers me because, like, damn, bro, like why I gotta be restricted. And I just realized that shit. No, nah, fuck that. Let's talk about this shit. Why the fuck goddamn nigga, niggas mainly got to be restricted on certain shit? But what what are what are women really restricted to? Nothing. What are women really restricted to? A nigga, I mean, a a, a, a bitch right now could uh be out in public okay. and and just grab your dick and no, she can't, nigga. And and what actual consequence is going to happen behind it besides like you actually telling the cop like. Hey, look, I'm dead ass serious. She sexually harassed me, and I ain't fucking like that shit. What have you and, called? And actually got to be stern behind that shit. You know what I'm saying? What have you called stranger danger? Who the fuck called stranger danger? That's, hey, stranger danger. Don't touch me there. Stra- right. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. I guarantee you I say that 10 times. I'll annoy the fuck out of somebody. They'll come to my rescue. Stranger Nigga. danger. Stranger, See, exactly, exactly, danger, exactly. That's my point stranger. right there. That's my point right there. That's my point right there. <laughs> Somebody's you coming gotta to say, my rescue. You got to say it ten times. <laughs> a, a woman don't. Well, women are not gonna say. Oh, this is gonna ruffle some feathers. Misogynistic time. <laughs> women can't. Women oftentimes won't say shit and then come out later when a nigga gets a decent uh, football contract with a decent football team and now it's sexual abuse, sexual assault. When I Antonio had money, Brown. When I had money, we was just goddamn fucking around. Like, huh, all right. Well, we just lost about thirty followers. All right, so man, shit, I really man. <laughs> I mean, so bro, that, that's how that's how it be, bro. Like, shit, bro. Got to call it how I see it, bro. How the fuck was your week, man? Let me actually look at my fucking bro. What, what happened? Damn to it, me, bro. I'm so off. Hey, bro. Honestly, bro, I'm having, bro. I'm. I, I love this fucking airport shit, bro. Oh. I never, bro. I never thought, bro. I'd really be able to say, bro. I love a fucking job, bro. 